Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm going to be talking about the GM Nightfall, specifically Savathun and the Corrupted from last week's. So this is most likely not going to be a guide, mostly because I don't have all the footage available to me. This is probably mostly a critique, if anything else. So, and when I say critique, it's not even that crazy. I think uh, aside from the Corrupted, this, this one was great. This one was exactly what i thought a gm should be so let me start from the beginning i don't have the conqueror title i want it i'm gonna get it this season whether i like it or not and one of my biggest annoyances in the game is just dumb situations or situations that are rng and what i mean by that is basically for the boss in the corrupted strike you basically have to worry about her booping slamming anything because if you guys don't know in that specific uh strike the all of the things i just said are increased tenfold so the damage is increased and the booping distance is increased so that's really annoying and the amount of just tom bullshit is just dumb as shit so for me i'm pretty much okay with all the champions uh, I think the un Unstoppables are fine. I think the Barriers are fine. I think the one that's problem is the Overload ones. The Overload Champions, I think, are the biggest bullshit in the game. Because, essentially, especially Overload Taken Goblins, if I remember correctly. Those are the ones that snipe. So, they can their fire rate and their accuracy is a little bit too much, for, in my opinion. Not only that, but if you shoot them... They throw off these like uh, revenge, like three uh, missile type things. And I've seen them throw that for like a good 30, 40 seconds of nonstop just throwing them at you. And that shit hurts. That shit hits you twice. You're most likely dead. So I was getting fucking annoyed because, you know, I'm. Oh, oh, oh I forgot to say they heal, too. So when you take them down, yeah, sure, you can do damage. But if you're not all literally kill, trying to kill that one, then they can get all their health back immediately. The shit is fucking annoying, especially because each champion has a a timer of when they can be knocked back down again. So you guys probably know this, but for like the it's like 15, 30 seconds, maybe not. Nah, nah, it's, it's 15 seconds, 10 seconds, somewhere around there. But when you have an enemy that can heal their health like almost immediately that's when it's it's kind of a fucking issue so for me the overload champions were the biggest issues the corrupted honestly was not that hard aside from the boss fight and maybe the two ogre situations if you're not all the way in the back that's the thing is bungie really likes really wants us to like do all these really high-end activities but most of the time people are just cheesing the situations so it's like or we're using weapons that Bungie's nerfed, but we'll still use them anyways, like snipers. I was using Izanagi's for Savathus. So it's just funny to me that they're saying like, oh, we saw that snipers are being used way too much when why the fuck would you use a shotgun in the GM Nightfall? Like, why would you ever do that? Why would you go for a melee build in the GM Nightfall when everything is that crazy? It's like, I just don't understand the thought process of Bungie sometimes. So, again, this is not anything like, oh, fuck this. And honestly, it was just more of an annoyance. To be fair, though, we skipped a lot of the Corrupted. We got bronze level for the GM. I just wanted the completion. I don't give a fuck about the rewards. I just wanted to complete it so that way I can forget about it. Uh, I would say Sabathoons is much easier if you want to farm it. Me and my team, we ended up completing it like... What was it 40 minutes we would have gotten down to 30 minutes but unfortunately uh both of my teammates went down right at the end of sabathoons uh when the three ogres spawn and they were the only ones that had unstoppable so what i ended up doing was i had to i had to heal one or i had to res one up and then res the other one up but it took a while because i needed my melee back and I, there's no way in hell i'm dodging next to those assholes so yeah, there's Sabathun's song is so much easier. I know that Astrocross 
I, I was watching him stream this and he was doing it his like 20 25 minutes so this one if you have like your full team of people who know what they're doing it's 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 easy it's so much easier than fucking you know the corrupted the corrupted was the one that i just wanted to you know rip my testicles out of my fucking mouth like that's how much i fucking hated it uh excuse me for the graphic it's just it's the corrupted was probably the most annoying one uh ever so once you do that i think that's where it gets really easier because i don't see any any of the other ones aside from like the garden world that is going to be really annoying i have been thinking about doing guides mostly because i know what i'm talking about when it comes to this type of stuff like i've completed it already i think the only one that I would have pro like issues would be the corrupted but i mean at the at that point i've already done it so if you're just wanting completion i could definitely do guides for that i would probably i'm probably going to do a guide for the savage things but i'll have like i'll probably have all the footage so that way i can actually show you guys because there are a few problem spots here and there for sabathoons but most of the time if you have a hunter with invisibility bottom tree invisibility then you're pretty much golden if you wanted to skip like skip a, a lot of parts you could actually not only that but invisibility really helps for slamming the orbs there's just a lot of things i could talk about to be quite honest invisibility also works for the corrupted that's how we got the bronze we skipped a bunch and i mean a bunch of champions just we're like fuck all of that we're not doing that dumb shit so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below like i said this was going to be a very short video nothing too crazy i just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions about the gm so far uh like i said the other gms don't really phase me like initially i don't think they're gonna be too crazy i'm much more excited for them and if anything it's just that the corrupted was just stupid to me especially since the rewards are not like you don't get armor that's like base stat value of like 65 which would be amazing you don't get <clears throat> you don't get a bunch of stuff it's just literally like I ended up getting what was it two two shards from from killing the Sabathun boss. What was it two two ascendant shards? I think if I remember correctly. Yeah, two ascendant shards and five enhancement prisms and two umbral engrams. Which cool, I guess. Like I definitely I definitely see value in that. I just I don't know if that's enough for me personally. Mostly because mostly because I. Uh, I don't know, man. It's supposed to be the hardest thing in the game, and that was that was platinum rewards. We killed everything, so two attendant shards and five of the other ones. I would have loved to see if they gave like, like a guaranteed like exotic, a guaranteed something. Two ascendant shards is nice, but you know, that's not enough to enhance one exotic. So if it gave you three, that would have been cool. I would have been like, yo, I can. I can upgrade an exotic right now. So let me know what you guys think about the rewards in the comments below. Just let me know about anything in general about the GMs in general. I'm going to probably do the guides, probably do Sabathun's for sure, because it, that one seems like a good idea. Oh, so the GM Nightfall did not proc the 100K and the difficulty thing for the Nightfalls. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's not supposed to, but it that fucking sucked i was like oh okay cool i guess i'll just do another nightfall so that kind of annoyed me but yeah let me know what you guys think obviously i'm gonna keep rambling but let me know what you guys think about the nightfall did you like it did you like the corrupted i personally hated it did you like savathun i personally loved it it was great uh we completed it within our fourth fifth try i think and that was like us like us dying from the beginning and then the fifth try it was literally just like okay we, we got it so yeah other than that, be safe, guys. You guys know what's happening in the world. And other than that, I will see you guys later.